All right, the brutish dog-eat-dog -dog existence of the slum d dweller is far from the quiet desperation and existential nothingness of corporate wage slave. Yet your time in Telestrian Industries is unclear which is more bleak. The elevator rises smoothly, its blandized music assaulting you once again as you ascend to the executive floor and your goal. All right, guys, we should be able to talk the guy into dying so that I can get my sample and then get the hell out of here before we get caught. I'm gonna go over here first. Anybody else I can talk to? No. Restricted area. Okay, I won't. I don't want to get yelled at, so I'm not gonna go in there. I'm just gonna go... I... Duty, efficiency, I'm trying to remember what the other ones were. I was supposed to learn about this guy before I did it, but oh well. Eric Superstar. There you are. Seems one of my best at letting me down. It's good to see that you're displayed one of the most important three key values. It's duty above all, right? He laughs. Oh yes, it's the first value, and I'm glad more than these outside security follow it from, more, from, gen from a janitor, no less. No, I'm speaking in my third and final value. Vigilance. It seems to be sorely lacking around here. Her. Thank you, sir. Rewards and punishments must be given when required. Please start filling out the report on the data pad. I'm afraid I must ask you to not sit in my chair, given your attire. I need you to go back downstairs and investigate your findings. I'll be right back. Oh, just fine. I won't sit in your chair, sir. Not a problem. All right, so these paintings must be what all these... You don't have much time. I'm tracking Silverstar. He's already stepping on the elevator. I don't think your disguise will hold up much longer. Get you any movements. Hurry. Okay, let's do it. Well, he's vigilance. Um, vigilance is one. Independence. I don't think that's the right. I think that's bad. Hold on. Here we go. Unity. Efficiency. This one should be duty, yeah. Duty. I think independence is independence has gotta be the one that's not real. Push it. Factory wait. Oh, okay. How about this one then? Unity, push the frame. A few guards, tech workers, very nervous. Getting going to question them. Um, push it. Efficiency. Okay, so wait. Oh, shit. Alright, it's duty. Efficiency. Vigilance is the last one. Um, unity. No. It's gotta be. Uh, unity. Shit. Alright, here we go. Three virtues, right? Alright, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Can we go? Can we get in there now? Yes! Alright. What do you mean, like, oh, wait, shit. Gotta get his glass and scar. Gotta grab him. Come on, come on, come on. The half smoke scar. Go, 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 go. Open this. Is it safe? Take the sample. Alright, time for stealth has passed. Set up. It has set off every alarm in the system, but I have unlocked the executive elevator. 
Go, 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 go. Alright, let's get out of here before we have to face that dude in combat. I don't want to deal with him. Honestly, I could care less about the restricted area right now. But thank you. Alright, come on. Let's go, go, go. Take a ride all the way back onto the ground floor. Whew! Yeah! Alright. Not out yet, but made it to the elevator. Check on the connection. Working. Good morning, moron. Oh, McCluskey, how did you find me? You really, really are dumb, dummy. Do you know who I work for? The same guy whose building you just broke into? Mr. Justin wants to meet you in person. He wants to chat about last night fun and games. Also, come along quietly. You can meet him in a body bag. Um, come on, Drag for Brains. Make the wrong choice. I'm going. One day, you're going to go around and my ass hat. I'm not happy. I have the sample in my pocket, and I didn't get rid of it. All right, from the floor of the Lone Star Cruiser, you watch the tops of downtown corridors' office buildings disappear, replaced by the gray overcast of the I-90 bridge. The nylon restraints binding your wrists and ankles, along with McCluskey's whistling on the radio, make for an unpleasant ride. Half an hour, the cruiser hits a whisper-smooth patch of road, and a magnificent mansion fills your view. Its design is a blend of old-world finery and elvish grace. The car pulls to an abrupt, uh, an abrupt halt, and you're dragged into the driveway, where McCluskey pulls a nasty-looking knife and cuts your bonds. You see you're surrounded by a square of green-clad ghosts, special forces troops from Tirnagar. Tir Tarnagar. Tir... I don't know what that is. Somebody want to comment and tell me how to say that? I don't know. All right, Matt, massage. Massaging the feeling back in your numb extremities, you prepare to meet the man yourself. James Detest Telestrian Three. The third. Hey, Mr. Quoth. What up, buddy? Fussy elf with an air of Victorian butler. Sends before he speaks, but he doesn't like what he sees. Mr. Find him in your office. Thank you, Jeeves. May wait here for a few minutes to gather yourself before entering his office. Some people find that they need time to prepare themselves before meeting an elf of his stature. However, the upstairs is off limits, and the library is occupied at the moment. Do not tarry. Okay. Honestly, I'm not so concerned with investigating. But I will hang out with this guy for a minute. Twinkle in Elder John's eyes. It wasn't uh, wasn't there when you spoke at the stream. Said, Good to see him. There's much to do. You run in some pretty different circles, don't you? I don't run at all, Mac Midnight. I go where I'm needed, and I'm needed here. Seek me out after you've spoken to James Thompson. Perhaps I can be of service again. The upstairs? Oh, he said the upstairs is off limits. I can't even pretend to go up there. Fine. All right. Where am I supposed to go? Doesn't even let me go anywhere, but alright. How about this way? Can I go in here? Sure. Let's do it. As you approach, James Telestrian the Third looks up from the computer screen built into the surface of his desk and assesses you. Calculating in cold, a practiced smile comes across his face. He vibes the kind of rich you don't get from Trivid. He's not, it's not the clothing or the trappings or the bow before your betters mansion. It's something else, the feeling you've been categorized as a resource or a liability or a pawn. I've been reviewing the results of your visit to my Seattle office last night. I must admit they're pr impressive. You've generated a considerable amount of damage to my office complex, killed or wounded many of my security personnel, and caused my vice pros president of security his job. In 24 hours, you've accumulated quite a bit of bill with me, sir. How do you intend to settle your debt? Would you like a check? I understand humor, but I do not appreciate it. I understand its uses. Yours is not a good use of humor, however. It neither charmed me nor disarmed the tension, nor infuriated me to the point of providing you with a quick death. Before you attempt any more of your lowbrow or monkey shines, I will lay out your tactical situation. You have one piece of information which you might use as a bargaining chip in the little time you have left to live. Why you took what you took. 
I am interested to know why you and your team of criminals fought all the way up through my security teams into my private office to access the matrix and uncover the location of a simple research project. <laughs> Goes like this. Your half-brother Sam Watts hired me to find his own killer. He had a dead man switch. When I find the killer, I get paid. Mm. You impress me, sir. My father's bastards are not intentionally no are intentionally not well known, even to themselves. Nevertheless, I fail to see the connection between my between this Sam Watts death and a raid on one of my office buildings. Is there no connection between the research project and the dead man that I am aware of? Sam was killed by your half sister Jessica. Jessica is protected by giant bugs. He just kills giant bugs. Giant giant kill the bugs, kill Jessica, get paid. Find your bluntness somehow refreshing. He touches a button on the desk. Mr. Quoth, please ask my daughter to join us. The young, pretty elf has dark circles under her eyes and a haunted expression on her face. She recognizes you interesty. In instantly. It's you. You're the one who helps help me escape from the Universal Brotherhood. How did you get here? Telestrian cuts in quickly. Thank you, Mary Louise. You've confirmed the identity of your rescuer and given me reason to forgive him his trespasses against me. Holy shit. Hungry for your help. I'm glad you're here. You did well back there. Without you, we'd all be dead. Thank you, but I'm not sure death wouldn't be better than this. I can't sleep at all. I'm afraid of this dream. I'll wake up and I'll still be there with the bugs. You can relax, Mary Louise. You're safe. It's over. No, it won't be over until they're all dead. You didn't see them. You don't understand. Those men flew in here. All you do is talk. <laughs> Pharmacist community father. Oh my god. All right. I knew that someone had to take action. That's why I got Hakim involved. I see. It was you and the crippled little friend who leaked Aegis to this man. I will speak of it later, in private. Now then, Mac Midnight. My name is so corny. Uh, are these people I wish you to meet? The committee my daughter alluded to. This is a rare opportunity for a man of the street such as yourself. I urge you to behave. We will adjourn to the library. I would be delighted. I don't know if that's sarcasm or not. Just behave. This is getting way out of hand. Way to Telestine's library. Sense of magnitude and purpose. You are no longer in the presence of mere wealth. You are in the presence of history. Lady and gentlemen, this is Mac Midnight. He is the orc who saved my daughter and the only one who has faced our common enemy in combat. Her Brackhouse, which is the representative of the great dragon Lofer. Lof... Fluffwear? Have to tell us about the magical insect. The Shadowrunner uncovered. Braho speaks slowly with a deep, melodious German accent. He takes his time, accentuating each word, relishing each vowel, each consent, tasting them as if they were a delicacy. My lord Lofwer has witnessed the insect's spiritual manifestation before, roughly 9,000 years ago. As you are aware, magic ebbs and flows from the earth, cycling from peak to peak over the course of 52,000 years as the level of magic grows. Holy shit, it's Harley Quinn. Holy shit. Hans, dear, I love you. You could babble on forever, and I believe this time is of the essence. The painted elf addresses you. Mac Midnight is it? Delighted. The bug you fought was not merely a magically awakened animal, like a wyvern or a hydra, or anything else in the sixth world. In fact, it isn't from this world at all. It's the physical embodiment of an insect spirit from another plane of existence. Now, I'm going to take just a moment to uh, explain to you. Harley Quinn is one of the really famous um, Shadowrun characters. He is an elf, but he's one of the breed of elf that never die. So basically, he's existed for, thou or for thousands of years and will basically never die of old age. He's legendarily powerful and uh, a little bit like the Joker in the fact that he really doesn't give a shit about humanity so much, but um, he does care about the planet, and so he sort of comes and goes. So this is a really big cameo here. Um, Imagine for moving for Correct. Perhaps this German <laughs> can tell you all about it at length someday. He's got plenty of time to chit-chat. Now an insect spirit can simply thumb a ride through the astral space and show up on Earth late for dinner. Dinner, in this case, being us. Two elements are not required to bring across the void, a shaman and a host. First, the spirit calls upon a shaman, often in dreams. The spirit seduces the shaman with promises of great power, and the shaman accepts the spirit as his totem. Next, the insect spirit requires a suitable host. The best candidates are disaffected and disenfranchised. In short, weak-willed. Their minds are most susceptible sub to suggestion, which is helpful for making the transformation. As you may imagine, the sort of people that are easily attracted to, the, to a cult, such as the Universal Brotherhood. 
Finally, by performing what has uh, to be true, a truly disgusting ritual, the shaman serving the insect totem implants the spirit into the host, willingly or not. Then it's feeding time. Harlequin <laughs> is correct. The insect spirit will then slowly consume its host while transforming it to the spirit's own insectoid body, thus manifesting itself fully on this plane. I don't like the sound of this. You shouldn't. It's bad. Really, really bad. Initial bugs prepare a nest of summoning for the queen. Once the nest has its queen, she literally explodes with newly manifested insect spirits. They swarm out of the nest, feasting on the flesh they can find and implanting more and more insect spirits into fresh corpses. And then again and again and again. Noom falls silent as they all consider the scenario. Face is grim. Telestrian breaks the silence. This is not an infestation, Mac Might Knight. It's an invasion. Lord Lorfor knew this day would come, but he did not know pre precisely when or where. Your rescue of Mr. Telestrian's daughter has exposed the existence of the insect spirit for the first time in the cycle of this world. Um, so you're early to the party this time. That gives you the upper hand, right? We are not early. We are merely experienced on our side. The insect spirit is an only a resident in the transformed host bodies. Conventional weapons can hurt the body and expose the spirit, but the spirit itself cannot be destroyed by mundane means. Hence Project Aegis. Here Telestrian's biotechnology and agricultural divisions worked with my Lord Lofer's thaumaturgical engineers and designed Project Aegis to destroy an insect spirit once it's released from its host. The formula, a fluorescing astral bacterial strain, exists in the physical and astral planes at once and thus can affect the insect spirit. Now that was a mouthful. Can you memorize it all? Or are you reading it off index cards? <laughs> As my director of R&D, Diane Ravenwood will explain how Project Aegis will be used in the field. Dr. Ravenwolf? Our weapon specialists have rapidly prototyped a delivery service for the fluorescing astral bacterial strain. We've created some prototype launchers which fire Aegis-filled shells when fired. Shells will discharge a high-velocity stream of the bacteria. In order to destroy one of the bugs, it must first be damaged using conventional weapons or magic until the spirit is released from the host body. Then the insect spirit must be shot with the Project Aegis prototype launcher to destroy it. So in order to stop an invasion of insects from another dimension, okay, blah, blah, blah. Crudely put, but accurate. <laughs> we must get to the top, uh, stop the Universal Brotherhood from summoning a queen, and we must stop immediately. You're the only one who has been inside the facility and the only one who has personally fought the creatures before. That, along with your highly effective assault upon my property, indicates you are the ideal person to lead the attack. I'm flattered. Pinadelf grins his red slips. You should be. Come on, kid. When fate taps you on the shoulder, you've got to pay attention. Unfortunately, she has a nasty habit of tapping you on the opposite shoulder so that when you turn around, she's on your other side, giggling like a deranged schoolgirl. I hate that. Enough. Are you willing to undergo this mission, Mac? Um, I'm a professional. Professionals get paid for their work. I assume serving mankind involves compensation. Of course. Here's my proposal. If you prevent the queen from being summoned and destroy the insects in the next one, one million new yen will be divided against your surviving team members. Excellent. I always got in trouble when I played Shadowrun for not negotiating and just saying yes, but... Claps his hand, I've seen the circus for the first time. I love the way short-lived are willing to die even faster. It's very inspirational. Brachus raises his hand, and Harley Quinn's clapping instantly stops. There is one final note, a warning, if you will. You have seen the danger the insects represent, and you have not and you have, but you have not witnessed the shaman's power. The shaman must tap into a powerful source of magic in order to summon the queen. We don't know... What abilities beyond uh, this power source will grant? Be aware of the insects, but do not underestimate the shaman. Hey, don't scare the kid, Hansel. We still need him to go on the mission. By the way, I'm coming with you, Mac. I wouldn't mind seeing these creatures for myself. I missed him last time, and Telestrian will bankroll you, so you can hire the rest of the team. Find me when you're ready to go. You speak with Harley Quinn when you're ready to depart. If you wish to acquire additional supplies for your mission, you may find my assistant quote. He is highly resourceful. Holy shit. All right. Let's go talk to Quoth. Yeah, there he is. Buddy. Why don't you come here for a minute? Look at that high grade street armor. Um Okay, Court Mage, the mechanic, let's do this. I 
There we go. Looking like a real shadow runner finally. Confirm. Show me the gear. I'm gonna get some I don't need grenades, I need fucking health kits. Premium med kit three. Premium med kit. Premier med kit. Premier med kit. Okay. That should be good. Gold trauma kit. Basic trauma kit. Yeah, it should be good. Is there any better are there any better guns I can get? I could buy a better machete maybe. Assault shotgun. Shotgun shotgun. No, I've got the best the best assault rifle, that's fine then. Yeah, what about melee weapons? Heavy war sword that can cut a meta human in half. No, I'm good. Um buy one of those. Why not? Doesn't matter. Confirm. Alright, this can get removed, and this can get removed, and then we'll put it back in place. Take those. Get rid of that bullshit and put the other trauma kit on there. Should be good. Can I get some cyber installed? Um, let's do it. Give me better arms. Fission and magnification. Hmm. Thermal plating? Hell yeah. That's not bad. Wait, and what's this bullcrap body? Um. Movement plus one. Dodge the first. When triggered, you will dodge the first attack against you. Huh. That's cool. No, we're good this way. All kinds of chopped up. Alright. Pretty good. Let's talk to this lady. Hey Mary Louise, what's up lady? Um, Jean, who helped you in the Matrix? She smiles in love. Even after my father ruined his life and convinced me to hate him, he's still been watching over me. My angel in cyberspace, Baron Samidi. After we escaped, I told Hakim about the Brotherhood and about the bugs. It was his idea to steal Project Aegis so you could go back to the Universal Brotherhood and exterminate the bugs. I just don't know how he knew about it. Baron Samidi just knows things. That's cool, buddy. All right, I'm going to go talk to my friend again. Because he said I should go see him before we go. Oh, what? I don't want to talk to you. Um, got a question first. Let's take your importance, Magnet. I know I was not spying on you. Until Mr. Summons, you were beneath my notice. I saw only a customer. Now, do you require my magic? Nope. All right. I think let's do this thing. Let's hire some runners. Hey, Arlie, let's go. Taking one, actually, the other one's for you. Treat her well. All right. Ooh, final. Oh, one of his. All right, cool. Um. Let's see. Okay, so I have that. Good. He has an Aegis Muncher and a sword. Damn it, guy. Ugh. Alright, I should take Coyote with me because she's so damn awesome. Um, <laughs> I'll take, take Gallo Glass. Take Gallo Glass. Um, Alright. James doesn't look much like a human. Um, okay, I don't want any of that. I want... Said we could take... This guy? Yeah. Alright. 
Special Fortress, Black Banner from the Elden Nation. Taken Coyote along. Can we take can we take his daughter? Probably won't let me. Well in that case we are gonna take this guy just because. Packs a lot of packs a lot of kick ass shit and Alright. The only other thing I might want to do is I wonder. Yeah, we can't have enough of these launchers. He's worth it just for that. Alright. Confirm. Let's boogie. Alright. We got our team. We got our run. We're ready to kick ass. It's finally time to take the hurt to Sam's murderer and save the world from giant ghost bugs. Honestly, I didn't think that was where we were going. I'm going to stop right now, and the last episode will probably be the last episode. Imagine that.